Get out of the car, we'll talk about it. But right now you're resisting arrest. <laughs> Get out of the car, we're gonna drag you out. We're gonna break the window and drag you out. Don't For arrest. what what conduct did I do that was disorderly? You witnessed disorderly conduct? You witnessed disorderly conduct? Hello good people and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is an epic ID refusal and is a perfect example of what knowing your rights can do for you. This video comes to us from the channel Cam Before the Storm. On December 7, 2022, this man was staying in his RV that he had set up in Thousand Trails Valley Verde, Arizona. Accompanied with this man was his service dog to which he had paperwork for. At that moment, he had a confrontation with one of the employees. The morning after all of this, that same employee called the Yavapai County Sheriff's Office and complained that this man was being disorderly. Unaware that the sheriffs were even called, this guy tried to leave, but that's when the deputies show up. And let's just say, things go from zero to 100 real quick. What in the hell is going on? What? I'm on private property, boss. Have I broken a law? Step out of the vehicle, please. Have I broken a law? No, but this, we're officer safety. We don't know what's in the vehicle. All right. Like you step out, we can talk. Well, there. this isn't a traffic stop, and I haven't broken a law. Maybe you're a lawful order. order. <clears throat> this is not a traffic stop, and I have not broken a law. I'm under arrest? What am I under arrest for? Conduct. Get out of the car. Di what, what disorderly conduct? Get out of the car. We'll talk about it. But right now, you're resisting arrest. <laughs> Get out of the car, we're gonna drag you out. We're gonna break the window, we're gonna drag you out. So For arrest. what what conduct did I do that was disorderly? disorderly. You witnessed disorderly conduct? You witnessed disorderly conduct? Wait, you witnessed disorderly conduct to arrest me? Are you is there a sergeant here? My lieutenant's right here. Okay, you witnessed disorderly conduct to arrest me, Lieutenant? Well he's saying I'm under arrest. Well, am I under arrest or not? So I'm not under arrest and they just threatened arrest? Okay, I'll agree with you there. Clearly I'm being lawfully detained. Am I under arrest like this officer just said? You said I'm not. You well My freaking vent's so loud, I gotta Okay. Sir, please step out of the vehicle. No. Okay. So I said I'll talk to you. Okay, do you have any weapons in your car? I'm not going to answer any okay, questions. because this is a big difference between us taking you out or not. So you can run down the window the whole way and let us see your hands. Okay, you, you guys have my, you can see my hands. You can see my hands. This isn't in the Bro. We're getting to the point where this isn't in the I, uh, I... I understand my rights. I no officer safety. Seeing both of my hands right now. If it's a lawful traffic stop, I, on private property. Yeah. So what am I being stopped for? I want to know. He said I'm under arrest, and you said maybe. Now I'm not. Le I'm not stopped for a traffic stop. Clearly. Okay. To investigate something. To investigate something. Yes. Okay. What are you investigating? Disorderly conduct. Okay. When, well, I'm, I it wasn't disorderly. So, what do you want to know? What happened? Last night, an employee came in and harassed me about my service dog. That was the start of it all, okay? And um, he said I needed to have a vest on, which I don't. Their rules say you don't need a vest. Uh, this happened at another park, which is why I know. And... He's put, pointed to some sign about fake service dogs and really escalated. I mean, first he came in the room and, and yelled like, I was in there by myself. Uh, it was like 10 o'clock at night. He comes in the door and says, just start, doesn't even know anyone's walking in. Hey, what's going on in here? Like, what the fuck, man? I And I'm like, what? And so he's like, you can't have dogs in here and you can't have your bike up here. And I'm like, dude, what are you talking about? Because my bike, I, was just, I rolled it up to set up because I was just using the internet. And... uh Anyway, man, I told him, dude, you need, you're out of line. You need to go. And I, by the time I, then I pulled my phone out when I started filming, then he totally changed his demeanor. It was like, oh, well, I'm just going to leave. Right. So then this morning I start texting to try to get the manager to make, cause I wrote up what happened and I was going to send it to the manager. So I text security text me uh, back saying like they got my site number yesterday. So I'm like, okay. So I 
text him back, hey, can I get the manager's name? And I got all this in here. He printed it out. Actually, that's what's in his hand. He, I said, hey, can I get the manager's name and, and email address? Won't give it to me. He's going he's gonna to talk to you at 1030, whatever. I said, okay, can I please get the manager's name and email address? Uh, but no response. Hey, man, I, don't, I, wanna, I got something in writing. I want to send him. Can I please get the manager's name and email address? Won't give it to me. Okay, who's the security guard right now refusing to give me the manager's name and email address? Won't give it to me. And then, so you can go read the text. This is what they're trying. This is why they called you. Because I asked him, why? Because I heard them say the sheriff's here. I'm like, why did you guys call the sheriff? And when I was going out to breakfast, I just stopped to ask. I wanted to get the security guard's name because I'm going to f- file all this with their corporate. And uh, so when I was stopping there, I hear him on the phone saying, Sheriff's going. And then he goes, oh, I think he's at the door right now. And so he opens it up with this you know, shitty and grin and starts like being real evasive at the door. Like, oh, I, s- I told the manager this. I'm like, oh, so you're the security guard. OK, well, let me get your name. Was not rude. Nothing. It's all I filmed it, too. I'm filming every interaction with staff from here on out. So that's where it's at, man. All right, sir. So, really All right, sir. So the manager wants you trespass from the property. I have leasers' rights. You guys don't have the authority to get me off of here unless I've committed a crime. So, like you said, it's private property. No, you don't. I have leasers' rights. I'm part of the private property, boss. I got a lease for a sixty-five hundred dollar contract. Okay, let me talk to the dispatcher for a second. We can work this out. Yeah, how about these guys and how about me and you talk and these guys just you cover? Have your ID by chance, sir. Have I haven't broken a law, I'm not giving you my ID. No, you're being lawful. Being hey, stop talking to me. Your lieutenant's talking to me. You shitty and grin. I'm talking to you. Yeah, look at you. You just want to shoot somebody or beat their ass. This is the kind of cop that we all know is out looking for trouble. We all saw that grin. We know he wants to bust this window and drag me out. This one here too. This one hey. de-escalating, super good. Okay, you can tell we'll why he's the lieutenant. Can these guys... Look at that face. Just run his plate. Oh, let's just get it. We can get it either way because it's crack. We need his ID. It's crack cocaine, man. We got to get that ID. Here's a look at, we'll see what this one is. No bald head, so... A little bit of a... All right, sir, so... I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to your lieutenant. Cover, contact. Contact, cover. Okay? Well, um, you're the only one that's not aggravating me and, and seems to be level-headed enough. These guys clearly want to escalate, pull me out of the truck, and beat my ass, take me to jail. These guys over here just don't want to be wrong and get corporate involved because they already screwed up. I am by myself. I've been a member of this for over two years. I haven't broken any laws. Don't go anywhere. Just wait. Can I get your name and badge number, boss? 11041. What's your name? What's your name? What is it? Deputy Contreras. That's him? Yeah. Thank you, Hughes. Appreciate you being professional. You and the lieutenant, super professional. Those two are going to get you guys in trouble. Okay. Everyone can see it on film, man. This will go up. I haven't even done anything. What was your name and badge number real quick? I didn't get yours. My first name is Patrick. Last name is Bame. 10337. All right. Thank you. Would you mind me explaining why we're here? The the call we got. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, great. So, and just try to put yourself in our shoes. I will. I will try. Okay. So we're getting told that there's a threatening call, okay? That there's a male subject, yourself, described as yourself, described in your truck, um, okay. that had threatened a security guard last night and was getting into his face last night. Did you ask then, what he did to threaten him? No, just hold on. Okay, this sorry, you're call. right. This I'm sorry. Let me shut. Let me shut up. Yeah, yeah. So us as deputies are responding because now we're being told that there's another male subject, such as yourself, um, back at the gate, being disorderly, everything like that. Okay. It's on film. Just so you know, I'm, but yeah, I'm sure it is, I know. but again, yep. I'm, I'm here, you bro. I hear you. I was, you were pulling away as I pulled up, but yeah, okay. So, we don't know exactly what's going on, okay. All we know is that there was a disorderly individual going on, uh, going <laughs> reported, around, yeah, being disorderly, yelling, threatening people, okay. So, disorderly conduct is basically making unreasonable noise mm-hmm. using language that provokes another threats, yeah, yeah, um, or serious destructive behavior, okay, sure. Um, so, obviously, threatening, everybody understands what threatening is. Basically, I threatened to hurt you or whatever, right? Does that make sense? Yeah, I guess I have a big question, though, because yeah. that happened me, last... Oh, go ahead. You, okay, second, yeah, yeah. I'd be happy to answer that for you. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, us coming in is blind. We don't know exactly what is going on, right? So, we are told that the, there's you now at the office, unknown what's going on over there. Okay, so we come in... Okay. We see you pulling out. Uh, so they, they definitely jacked you up. 
Okay, okay. So yeah, yeah. Point, I'm seeing now how this happened. It, this was absolutely wild behavior from the first two deputies. Under no circumstance do they have the authority or justification to conduct themselves like this. That's why when this guy informed the supervisor of the situation, he pulled these two aside like the children they are and informed them of how properly to go about this. What's going on now is a bunch of cops blaming, which basically means that this deputy messed up and is trying to tell his supposed side of the story. Folks, when cops start doing this, don't listen or try to reason. There's no reasoning with tyranny and if you give them an out, they will most certainly take it. All in all though, this driver has been spot on with everything he's been saying and doing. So let's see if he gets let go, or if these deputies do in fact arrest him. So, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call our county attorney and explain all this to them. Mm -hmm. And because I want their help in determining what's going to be the best solution for everybody. Sure. Does that make sense? I mean, I don't know what they would have. In I it, I but but I wouldn't it. mind hearing what they had to say in a way. I know it's really only looking to jack me up, no, but no. I'm pretty confident in my standing, so I don't. I'm not really worried about we're, we're it. Not but looking to arrest you at all. Not even arrest, just trespass, just okay. just if they had, you know, like uh, to do that means you're looking to further it to see if you could come back and trespass me because the attorney says you could. That's where I'm saying you're going with it. We still have to figure. And it out. so I understand as a cop, you're really not looking for my best interest by doing it, but I'm also pretty good at standing on my own two feet and say hey whatever I, if i thought i was wrong i'd leave okay. i mean i'm i'm a man dude i'm 50 years old i don't i got wheels on my house okay, I, I, I the reason Corey, Corey. the reason i'm staying is because i have a right to stay and i haven't done anything wrong okay. and we we're gonna figure that out Corey. all right thanks, Corey, i apologize i made a mistake in saying that oh you're, you're i really appreciate that conduct but there is a crime being investigated regardless i totally get it new information is not disorderly conduct it could be trespassing like you said well so. Yeah, I appreciate you apologizing for the way you came up. It was pretty freaking aggressive, and yeah, it would have went sideways real quick. I, I would have lost, but it would have just been bad, dude. I'm not that kind of guy. I don't, it doesn't work for guys like me, man. Like, I understand. I know what you guys are taught. I just wish you guys would look at videos online and realize the way things are going from the way you're taught. Here we go. Terrible things, Corey, right? Yep. Okay. All right, you're free to go. Okay. What we're going to tell them is uh, this is kind of a big civil issue. Mm -hmm. And that you guys need to basically figure it out, court, through eviction. And just stay away. I mean, I already texted them saying so, I don't want to talk to any staff, everything in writing, and I just, they can do the same. What I'm going to tell you is don't talk to them. Stay 100%. Them, yeah, right? yeah. Please tell them yet. <laughs> Trust that, me, I'm on that. <laughs> the fact that you recorded yep. that interaction. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because that helps with whatever side okay? yeah and i'm gonna ask you you don't have to yeah would you be willing to show me the recording yes okay. i will show you the recording uh, of, of in here of, of the now that we're done you release me and we're good to go i'll shut you off are, i'll shut off my phone and, and you're 100 percent. i'll just show you so that you can get the tone of what was going on in there and and anyone watching this if i never come back you know why <laughs> now, i don't know about you all but to me Contreras's apology was not sincere whatsoever also, newsflash, these deputies were wrong and admitted that by stating that this was a civil matter. Folks, we all knew this from gathering information through watching the video. Yet, it takes these deputies at least 30 minutes, a scolding from their supervisor, and a call from the district attorney to inform them that they can't do anything for either party. While this is a prime example of law enforcement personifying arrest first and ask questions later, it's also a good example of standing your ground and exercising your rights. At any moment, if this man were to step out of the truck before these cops apologized, I have no doubt that he would have been cuffed and thrown in back of one of those patrol cars. Instead, he gets to go home and put this entire fiasco behind him. Huge props to Ken before the storm for standing up to these thugs and for recording the whole interaction. Make sure you all head on over to his channel, subscribe, and let him know San Joaquin Jr. sent you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for watching.